up everybody so we're back out in the shop with another daily vlog and guys we are going to be making these sheaths for these right here so now we're going to focus on making a sheath for the edc scrap knife and originally i was talking about i was going to do the sheath the sharpening some slicing stuff all in one video but i feel like this video needs to be dedicated just to the sheath because i am going to be doing a few different things that I've done in the past. It's going to be an awesome sheath. I really want y'all to be able to understand what I was doing, what decisions I was making. Hopefully y'all appreciate that. And guys, that's what we're going to do today. So let's jump into it, see how it turns out. So we need to go ahead and cut this Kydex down. Now I am cutting all three pieces down, but I'm only going to be making one sheath for this video, just for time reasons. So we got those cut down. Now it's time to go ahead and get the blade taped up. This doesn't have to be super precise because all we're doing is just creating a spacer between the blade and the kydex so that the kydex isn't rubbing the finish off of the blade every single time you put the knife in the sheath. And we gotta heat up the kydex. I have it set for right at about 200 degrees and we're just going to leave it in there for maybe about 45 seconds. It gets it nice and flexible. Then when we put the knife in there, we want to push the spine of the knife all the way to the crease of that taco sheath. So it's pushed all the way up. So that we end up with a nice, even press just like that. And there's a good definition of where the blade is which we want because we're going to be using that definition to be able to start drawing how we're going to cut the sheath out from there. And I'm just using one of the eyelets to give me a nice little spacing because originally I was going to do a very minimalist design just like I normally do and just use this little curved shape. But then after putting the clip on here and kind of moving it around and getting some ideas for where I want things positioned. I decided to change it up a little bit, but I know that for now, I definitely need to cut this clip down so that it is not as long as it is. But whenever I started looking at it, I started thinking, and I wanna kinda of do something cool here. And I wanna do a extra layer, so kind of an overlay of the olive drab color. So what I'm doing right now, is just kind of figuring out the design and shape that I want and where I want that overlay to sit. And then again, rechecking for where I want the clip to sit. And now we're just gonna cut out a piece of paper so that I can draw out a little template that we'll use later in the video whenever we're actually cutting out the overlay. Now we got the overlay piece heated up in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and press it on. And it's pretty simple. Again, it's just a taco setup, so it just lays straight over the actual Kydex sheath itself. And it formed to it very well. Now what we gotta do is take that template after we kind of get an idea of where we're going to start the template, we're going to lay it on there and draw it out and know where we got to cut. This is why templates are so handy. Make sure you measure twice, three times before you cut. Now we're going to go ahead and start laying out where we want our eyelids to sit. A lot of this I do by eye. Sometimes I'll use a little clips for your belt. Uh, to position them a little bit, for, but for this, I'm just gonna do it all by eye, what looks natural on this particular sheath. Now it's time to go ahead and drill the holes, and we're gonna drill the holes before we cut anything out 
because we want to make sure that we have the holes there and we don't cut too close to the holes after they're drilled. We're going to use this step bit to go ahead and get it opened up to a quarter of an inch for each hole. I like the step bit. You've seen me use it in other videos. It doesn't melt the kydex and it leaves nice crisp holes. So that's why I'm using this. And everything lines up nice and even. Now we can go ahead and go to the next step, which is cutting it out. So we're gonna start with the overlay. We're just gonna get it cut out. And all I'm doing is just doing a rough cut because we're gonna end up sanding this stuff back. So I'm not getting too close to the line. I'm just leaving plenty of excess so that we can sand it back to where we wanna be. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the sheath cut out. Now that we have them cut out, we want to go ahead and start shaping the sheath. So now that we got everything kind of rounded a little bit, and smoothed out we are doing a little 45 degree angle all the way around which is going to leave a nice smooth edge whenever i go to start hand sanding i won't have to sand as much this is going to look real good whenever it's all said and done now what we're going to do is go ahead and attach the overlay onto the sheath so that we can then start shaping the whole edge of this and make it all one even shape. And I'm just using a 40 grit, a used 40 grit belt on this. It doesn't really burn the plastic or anything like that so that's why I chose this. And we get it all nice and hand sanded. I'm using a 320 grit on this. That's as far as I'm gonna go on this sheath. Just 320 grit, and then I'm gonna end up buffing it later. But we wanna get everything smoothed out, everything rounded over, so that there's no hard edges on the sheath. This is coming together exactly how I want it. Now it's time to go ahead and buff it. I'm just using a gray compound on a medium wheel and this is gonna put a real nice polished edge all the way around the sheath. I've only done this step a few times on sheaths and I really like the end result from this. So one of the things that I did in between the buffing step and this was I took it in the house and I cleaned it out in the sink, ran a bunch of water through it, got all the debris out of it so that I could then start putting the eyelets on. I eventually will have an arbor press, but for right now, that's what I'm using. Now we want to go ahead and mount the overlay and I am using regular screw in holster hardware because I want this piece to be removable at any given time if you decide you don't want it on there. And then I'm lining up all the hardware and making it to where all the lines and everything match up. It's an unnecessary step, but I like doing it that way. Now we put our Ulti clip on. I will leave a link for this as well as the Kydex in the description, so go check that stuff out. All right, guys, well, we got it knocked out, and there it is. 
black kydex, OD green kydex with that slim ulti clip on the back there. Now I wanted to do something that was a little bit bigger but still keep it really compact. This right here, the height of it, is just over an inch and a half wide. So you can easily put this on a, if you had a gun belt or something like that, something that you carried your uh, gun holster on, this would fit on it perfectly and it really wouldn't stick out above or below it. Now, I try to keep it, like I said, as compact as possible while still adding a little bit extra design features to it. And hopefully y'all really like that. I definitely like it. I think it's really cool. It's got good retention on it. It ain't going anywhere. No rattle, nothing. So y'all tell me what y'all think about that. And hopefully y'all had some good takeaways from this video. I know that I've done other Kydex videos in the past and hopefully this was something that y'all liked and hopefully y'all learned something from this. If you did, let me know in the comment section. But guys, that's the end of this one. If you would, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video or a video I've done in the past that might be your favorite. And if you have not yet, bottom corner, right there. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified for whenever we actually put the edge on this knife and cut some stuff up with it. Guys, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending your time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. I'll catch y'all next time.